While the burden of proof of conformance to standards lies with the importer, the situation is bound to get tougher for local players as the Kenya Bureau of Standards is yet to recruit pre-shipment inspectors following the expiry of contracts of previous dealers as at the end of March. Today the contract of the partners undertaking inspection of general goods legally ended on that first March 2022, hence the application of destination inspection in the interim as a contingency plan. This means all inspection of most imported goods is being done at points of entry in Kenya. The pre-shipment inspectors were meant to help firsten the cargo clearance process by having the officially appointed dealers inspect and issue certificates of conformity. We are very much aware that uh, for us to be competitive as a country, we have to reduce the logistic cost and goods delaying at the port will generally uh, increase the cost of goods. So we are very much aware of that and that is why we will do targeting. Targeting for those risky products, test them and also uh, ensure that we use documentation. This is a common practice uh, world over where you know, manufacturers are expected to issue certificate of analysis, test reports, and it's on that basis that we use those documents to verify and indicate that. Effective beginning of this month, there's a likelihood that importers will experience delays clearing their cargo at points of entry. We have not yet concluded this process, but we are looking forward to having six uh, PVUC partners uh, to work with us. Uh, we, we, the process is ongoing. We, we, in less than a month, we'll probably have new contracted partners. The Kenya Bureau of Standards is shopping for pre-shipment inspectors. In the interim, KEBS has directed that all general goods be subjected to inspection at the point of entry with exception of motor vehicles, mobile equipment, spare parts, consolidated goods and goods on transit to other countries. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.